Thank you for purchasing your Lucky Dog box kennel. This informational video is designed to guide you through the assembly process with maximum ease. Let's begin. Separate and compare all parts A through K. It is important to separate the different pieces before beginning because several pieces are similar and can easily be confused. The only tools required to put the kennel together are a number two Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Choosing your kennel location is very important to the well-being and safety of your pet. The site should be flat and clear of foreign objects and should be protected from the sun and other weather elements that may be harmful to your pet. Begin by laying the pre-assembled gate mesh side down. The gate is pre-hung on the gate stand and is constructed to allow the upper and lower end rails to slide through the receiver tubes at the top and bottom. Loosen the set screws on the receiver tubes and slide the end rails through. Do not tighten these set screws. They are the only ones that will need to be loose in a later step in order to adjust the gate assembly. All American Kennel Club and Lucky Dog Kennels feature a one inch extension on the bottom side of each stand. This allows the kennel to sit above the ground surface for easing cleaning and airflow to lessen the potential for bacterial buildup. Make sure all extensions are on the bottom. Attach the corner stand with rod clips to the upper and lower end rails you just installed. Then tighten the set screws to secure the end rails to the corner. Use caution not to over tighten as it may damage the welded nut. Make sure the one inch extension on each stand is on the bottom. Attach the center stand to the other end of the end rails and tighten the set screws. Next, you will install the top and bottom side rails into the center stand you just installed. Don't forget to loosen the set screws on the center stands to slide in the side rails. Now install the corner stand into the side rails. Install the bottom two side rails into the corner stand. Don't forget to loosen the set screws on the corner stands to slide in the side rails. Tighten all set screws with a screwdriver. When finished, carefully stand the entire gate side of the kennel upright. Install the top two side rails into the top receiver tubes and tighten set screws. Next, you will install the center stands on each side of the kennel, making sure to place the side with the one inch extension on the bottom. Continue by installing the upper and lower side rails using the center stands until you have completed the full length of your kennel. Now install your remaining two corner stands. Next, you will install part E, the two remaining upper and lower end rails on the opposite side of the gate frame. Install the final center stand, Continue by installing Part G, the top and bottom side rails, to complete your kennel frame. Part E and Part G are different in length, and if they are not directly opposite from one another, the kennel sides will be uneven. Install the lockable fork latch on the latch side of the gate. Tighten bolts until latch is firmly attached to gate frame. Pull the gate frame toward the corner stand until the proper distance between corner stand and gate frame, approximately two inches, is achieved. Make sure latch opens and closes easily. Tighten the final set of screws on the gate stand. For ease of shipping, the roll of chain link mesh is folded versus rolled. The recommended handling of this mesh is to unfold it onto a flat surface, checking along the top and bottom for pickets that may have come unhooked from each other or that need to be twisted back into place. If you are experiencing difficulty with pickets, refer to the troubleshooting video on this DVD. After checking for rampant pickets, roll the chain link back up in the manner you would roll up a carpet. This will ensure ease of handling when proceeding with the final installation steps. Stand the roll of chain link next to the corner stand with rod clips and insert a round tension rod into the end of the mesh and hook the rod into the rod clips. If you are experiencing difficulty with attaching the chain link mesh to the gate frame, refer to the troubleshooting video on this DVD. Attach the chain link to the upper side rail using a steel wire tie to ensure the mesh stays at proper height. Unroll the chain link mesh around the outside of the kennel frame. Again, check for any pickets that may have come unhooked from each other or that need to be twisted back into place. 
out-of-place pickets can prevent the chain link mesh from achieving its intended length. If you are having trouble pulling the mesh to the final rod clips, recheck the length of the mesh for any twisted pickets. Using a steel wire tie, pull the mesh tight at each corner and center stand to secure the top and bottom of the mesh to the top and bottom rails. This will keep the mesh from sliding back and becoming loose. If you are having trouble attaching the chain link mesh with the steel wire ties, refer to the troubleshooting video on this DVD. The chain link mesh is pre-cut to easily fit the kennel's height. However, the exact mesh length is not always possible. Therefore, one or more chain link pickets may need to be removed to ensure proper tension on the mesh. If pickets need to be removed, straighten out as many pickets as necessary at top and bottom and twist out the picket until proper length is achieved. If you remove too many pickets, it is very easy to reattach them to the chain link mesh. If you are having problems with removing the pickets, refer to the troubleshooting video on this DVD. Once you have wound the chain link mesh around the entire kennel frame, Install the final round tension rod into the rod clips on the hinge side of the gate. Using the remaining steel wire ties, begin tying the mesh securely to all top and bottom rails. Make sure the tail end of the steel wire ties is always pointing outside the frame to ensure your pet does not come into contact with it. The bottom wire ties should be approximately 12 inches apart and the top ties approximately 18 inches apart. Insert stand caps into top opening of corner and center stands and gate frame. You now have a complete top quality chain link kennel that will last for years.